all eyes on one man. Will he shine against his former club? We're live next, so don't go anywhere. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Birmingham City, and they take on Huddersfield Town. Well, Derek, the visitors come here full of confidence after their performance on match day one. I wasn't expecting it, nor were the fans, but that should certainly give them confidence going into this one. George Friend, number 18, Christian Bailey, number 6, Ryan Woods. Here's the lineup for Birmingham City. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach, because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And so the initial 11 for Huddersfield Town. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Jonathan Hogg. Oliver Turton. It's with Hogg. How can he take them on and beat them? Basham. Hogg, well they stopped them in their tracks Gary Gardner and after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in he has very much been the talk of the town going into this match up against his old club and that's never easy for a footballer a mixture of emotions well I have to say I never really played well against my old clubs I always felt the spotlight was on me I think he might find it difficult today. Now, looking dangerous here. Wonderful chance! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Struggling to get it away. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Chances on. Well read to win possession back.
Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And news of a goal in the Blackpool game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. They've scored the opener with 15 minutes played. Now, forgive me, Alex. This could be an opportunity. He must finish. Well, not every player is capable of that sort of thing. Four marks for trying. Shame about the execution. Well, here it is again, and quite clearly it didn't cross the line. Mind you, it was very close. Well, to Alex, apologies for having to interrupt you just then. To confirm, Blackburn have scored in that match, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Thomas. Jonathan Hogg. Hogan. Superb block. Mohamed Muntari. An effective challenge. Check. It's with Hogg. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Takes the shot. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Shot attempted. Straight forward for the keeper. Jonathan Hogg. It needs an accurate cross. A very effective clearance. Well, the visitors have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes, and some of their play has been really good. And if they continue to control the ball, as they're doing at the moment, I'm sure they get that equaliser. Now can they win back possession and create something else? Will he finish? The save was a good one. Great effort to keep that one in play. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And he read it well, intercepting it. It's a good-looking ball in behind. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? And when you have a player dismissed under these circumstances, difficult to see a way back. Well, what a bad tackle that was. He's just lost his discipline there. Read it well. So here we are, moving close to half-time, and the visitors with work to do, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Muntari. Now options are plenty. Top class defending. Thomas. And play halted, free kick given. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Yeah. 
committed challenge. Thomas. It's with Hogg. Has a go. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Chris Basham. He could pick out a teammate. It comes to nothing in the end. Applying vigorous pressure. This could level it. And thumped away. Chances on. Oh, did so well to deny him. Who can they pick out? And miles off target with the header, but in fairness, the marking was tight. Christian Bielek on to Gardner chance here and striking the crossbar oh the crossbar is still reverberating and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game Struggling to get it away. Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have... Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Ryan Woods. Good work to regain possession. Delightful pass. It should be. And there. but showing guts and determination. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Right by the sound of it, there's been a goal in the Bristol City game. Over to Alex for the details. Yep, it's a goal for Bristol City. It's now 1-0 with 51 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Muntari. A very good tackle. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. Well, considerable transfer speculation in recent times. And now, Stuart, it has emerged that United have got their man. Well, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it? He'll add a lot of quality to his new... Oh, player. Stuart, opportunity here! Well, quite simply, a wild, wayward effort. And the less said about it, the better.
Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Austin Trusty. Woods with it. The supporters want to see him have a go. And the keeper's hand does the trick. Well, you can't argue with those stats, can you? They've had good chances at both ends. The game is being played with great intensity. And it's been a pleasure to watch. Firing it in. Just made sure nothing came of that. Oh, what's he gone and done? Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Oh, what an opportunity. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Well, they've decided to make a change. Substitution for Huddersfield Town. Coming off the pitch, number 18, David Kasumu. To be replaced by number 11, Conan Mahoney. Who can he pick out? Not to be this time. Terrific block. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Jonathan Hogg in possession Ahmed Hodzic Oliver Turton and options in the centre very alert defending to put a stop to the chance Trusty Gary Gardner Austin Trusty. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. This is a message Great for pressure to win the ball back. Into the final 20 minutes. This looks promising. Real chance. And a goal! A player down they might be, but that's not bothering them one little bit. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider 
Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Ryan Woods. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Substitution for Birmingham City. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And a tidy challenge. Right, I understand there's been a goal in the Bristol City match and Alex Scott has all the information. It's a goal for Cardiff City. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved and once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. The score's level again now at 1-1 with... Alex, sorry to interject, but a big chance here. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. To confirm, Cardiff have scored in that game, and the match is level at 1-1. A danger here as he runs at them. And a fine stop. And blocked for now. Playing it in, in it goes! He scored on his debut, and his fans are loving that. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. about the outcome surely they now have been removed Shemiswa Pajeta and unable to keep the ball well the final whistle approaching and this has certainly been an away day to remember Stuart your assessment well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. And they have possession again. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, to be blunt, misfiring with the header. Gary Gardner. Zini. Can he find the right pass? 
And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, I have to say, Derek, I wasn't expecting them to win their first two games, but they've done everything right. Can they now keep it going? That's the big question. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Well, he didn't show his best form today, did he? He just looked a little bit off the pace, but he certainly wasn't the only one. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks, that's all.